Whoa! Hello guys, Upcycle the Past here. On today's episode I'm going to show you how I transformed the old barn, the particular part in a uh, working, kinda <laughs> usable workshop. It's kinda rustic, it's kinda rough around the edges, but I think it came out really nice. Stay tuned for more. Okay, so we just finished the painting in the workshop, so let me show you around, it turned out really nice. It's really nice. And now the next thing will be the... I will need to install the power outlets Power sockets are installed. We have one, two, and one more here for now. But I will install more in the future. Okay, so the electrical work is done for now. And the next step is oh, also, here is the fuse box, and there are the pavement blocks. So, the next thing will be for me to install the pavement blocks.
Okay, so I finished with the pavement blocks. It was really, really, really freaking hard. Because it, it was my first time doing this, but it turned out eh, eh, kinda okay. Way better than it was. So let me show you the results. Not too shabby. Not perfect. Some of them still moves a little bit, but not too much, so I'd be worried. That part, I still don't know what to do there to cover that up. I think I will put some wood planks there to cover up the dirt. But other than that, it came out really nice, guys. So, the moment for the big reveal. <laughs> Check that out! Noise! So, this is the rough, complete version of the workshop. I think it came out really nice. Especially for the state which uh, the state in which it was, and the fact that I worked ninety percent alone, uh, my girlfriend helped me paint the walls, so that was the help that I got, and uh, I made it on the cheap. <laughs> but I'm happy; it's pretty nice. I will bring all of my tools in here. I will put some. Um, tool holders on the walls. I left this piece, this was before the chainsaw existed, this is what people used to cut the trees down. <laughs> so I left that there as a relic and also two seesaws. One of my proudest achievements here in the workshop is this, this workbench, which is a around 120 year old carpenter workbench. These were used by uh, carpenters here in Europe, especially, I don't know if in all of Europe, but here in Eastern Europe it's really really common to find these. And they're really cool. And the story with this one is that uh, one of my neighbors uh, wanted to chop it and put it on the fire to heat in the winter. Like literally, he want he asked me for a chainsaw, and uh, I asked him why do you need the chainsaw. And he said, "Well, I have a uh, carpenter's workbench. I don't use it anymore. It's uh, ugly, it's rotten, and I want to chop it and put it on the fire." And I said, "Like, <laughs> dude, 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 hold your horses. How much do you want for it?" And he said, "Well, well, twenty euros." And I said, "Okay, I will give you the chainsaw, and I will give you fifteen euros." <laughs> For the workbench and he said oh my god that's amazing so it's a really awesome piece from history and it will serve as a workbench for the mk1 restorations and other projects in the future leave a comment please what do you think about it was it worth it in my opinion it's amazing and it's really valuable for what it is Yo guys, so tell me, what do you think about the workshop? I know it's kind of rough around the edges, but uh, I think it's usable. Especially with the, with the big white workbench and the really old workbench. It will be pretty nice. So, see you in the next one. And if you enjoyed this, please leave a like and subscribe to the channel. It helps a lot. Thank you.